Hi, my name is Tim Finn. I'm a design engineer here at New England Tubing Technologies. Today I'm here to talk to you about kink resistance in tubing. So let's start with the basics. How do we measure kink resistance in tubing? Generally the tube's looped around itself like this and pulled till it kinks. This can also be done around the mandrel as tubes are typically supported when in use. This is obviously something everyone wants to avoid. So there's many ways we can control this, either it be uh, braid material or reinforcement tight or uh, extrusion material. In general, softer materials and thicker walls help prevent this, but that's not always an option. Uh, generally, the smaller the tube, the better, which is why we offer reinforced tubing. For the best increase in kinking performance, uh, we recommend reinforcement types such as uh, braid or spiral. These can utilize different materials such as um, textiles, monofilaments, and stainless steel, the latter being the most common. By adjusting the angle and coverage of a braid or spiral, we can greatly increase kinking resistance. Uh, these two similar sized tubes use the same materials and have similar wall thicknesses, but one has a braid optimized for kink resistance, and the other does not. New England Tubing Technologies utilizes over 100 years of braiding expertise from our parent company, New England Wire Technologies. Please feel free to contact us with questions, whether you're just starting the design process or you're looking to improve an existing product.